So this could be fun. There's a uh, campaign office for Max Rose on the corner, and there's a bunch of kids out front right now pitching for Max Rose as people pass. I'll see if I can get him to speak. How you guys doing? Uh oh, a little campaign going on. Yeah. For Max, mind if I bring you guys into the frame? Oh, uh, you love it, right? You guys not smiling. <laughs> Is Max here today? I think he'll be coming by. Ooh. He'll be coming by later. He's coming by later. Nice. Well, I'm just, I, I do a YouTube blog. My name is Marcus Conti. You guys know who I am? No, I don't no? think Good. So. That's good. <laughs> That's good. So, is Matt here today? What? Matt? Matt. Uh, you don't know Matt? No, I don't know. How you doing, man? So what's going on? Can I, can I bring somebody into the frame talk about Max uh, Rose? Yeah, sure. Cool, man. So, uh... What are you guys doing? Max is running. He's running against Dan Donovan, right? The yep. Republican. He's got to unseat the Republican. He's a Democrat, Max. What's that? He's a Democrat looking to unseat the Republican. Correct. I didn't say what? I said that backwards? Yeah, he's a two Republican. We're not no, Republicans. no, 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 no. I, I know. I know. Dan, so, so <laughs> I know that. Yeah. So, so Dan Donovan successfully secured his seat uh, against the uh, insurgent, uh, what was his name? Michael, Michael Grimm. Grimm, right? So Michael Grimm got out of jail and he <laughs> tried to run. Yep. And regain his seat, so he's out. So, so why do we vote for Max? Max Rose is uh, his. I mean, you're in a, you're in a. It's hard to. It, it's, it's not right to say that Staten Island and Brooklyn and this area of Brooklyn is a Republican stranglehold. That wouldn't be accurate, right? At all, because prior to that, uh, the Democrats have held this congressional seat yes. quite comfortably. So, how? Why does? Why? Why? Why are you supporting? Why do you support Max Rose? Well, Max, tell the viewers why they. People of Brooklyn, why they should vote for Max? Well, Max has a proven track record of community service. He's served in the military, the first post 9 11 combat vet to run for Congress in New York City history. He worked in the district attorney's office. Ken Thompson, well respected leader in Brooklyn, where he was uh, the director of public engagement. Right. And, you know, uh, you know, and he's a man, very well educated man, went to the London School of Economics to get his master's degree, went to Wesley in history. And, uh, you know, I know Max personally, and I know he wants what's best for the people of this district, and he's doing this because he cares, uh, not for any you know, self-gain. He's doing this because he really wants to improve right. the lives of the people of this district, and we think we're going to come back and take this seat back. Right. So, so does Max, I mean, does Max, he's running along pretty much a, a Democratic, a Democratic uh, platform. Right. But I noticed that Max is not for uh, universal health care. Well, he's for universal health care. He just believes in a... a a he's private, for private, uh, he believes in universal health care. So he's not the, for single payer. You know, he's right. not for a single payer system where the government picks up the bill. He's for a a subsid, subsidized medical public private partnership. Public private partnership. I mean, in order to the goal Can is you to explain public. You part? know, the lower the goal here is to lower costs, right? So it's the means by which has it worked them? in the past. What to lower costs? The efforts yes. that we the efforts that we that the government has done have not been adequate. Up to this point, uh, we need to you know, Obamacare. Obamacare. Well, we need to improve Obamacare. Uh, improve we, Obamacare. Correct. You know, and we need to have a real public option for people uh, to buy. What? You're doing good. I don't, I don't mean to. No, it's fine. It's it's a, it's an issue. It's an issue. Well, we that need to have a public option. I'm not doing. This is not a personal attack. I'm just doing it because 70 percent of of New York State, right? Probably more. Probably more like 80 percent are behind a single-payer universal health care system not universal coverage that's gibberish right that's gibberish well when you say universal coverage like Kirsten Gillibrand and the rest of them and they're trying to pass the buck back to the to the American people citizens citizens of, of New York that's gibberish a universal single-payer health care Max Rose is not behind it I want to know why well, right, so but you already explained it. But yeah, uh, he uh, believes uh, that we can lower costs in another uh, manner. There's also 500,000 people that work in the health insurance industry as well. And yeah, if you lobbyists. Go to a, they're, you know, they're, 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 they're not lobbyists. entirely lobbyists. There's people who work in the industry, right. uh, and uh, you would be throwing them off, off of their jobs as well. And if we can get people covered by lowering costs, then we can achieve our goal here, right? The goal is, is he, and he wants to have a public option that will be hev heavily subsidized by the government. You know that people can buy into for lower cost for those who aren't getting the serve the uh, you know the, the care that they feel that they should be from their insurance provider. For every for every for every public option, for every law, for every rule created by Congress or the Senate, and you and where they yeah sure, sure 
where they where they um, negotiate directly with with uh, big pharma and uh, uh, pharmaceutical insurance lobbyists, right? Every time they do that, past in the past is that what happens is you have a team of lawyers unwind those rules, and then it almost always entirely favors. The, the corporations that, well, then, you know, and then they start jacking the price. Well, we got to get that like corporate money out of politics anyway. That's one of that? that's one thing that we're fighting for anyway. Max we're Rose took to a, trying to overturn. Max Citizens Rose. United. Max Rose took a million dollars from outside of the district. Where the money come from? What? Max Rose took a, a million dollars in donations from, from individual outside. donors. Individual donors? Yeah. And other. You Not know. medical lobbyists? No. No. No way. Fact check. So, so. Um, well, it's good talking. I mean, I, I, I would love to see, you know, I would love to see... Uh, Max, what, is okay, let's what talk, he, Max is running right. what he believes in, right? He's not right. running because of, you know, out what money that he thinks he will receive. Is he going to vote along the, he's gonna vote along the lines with the Democrats? He's going to he's gonna get in bed with the Democrats? That's not that's not how he's... He's uh, already stood out against Mayor de Blasio. Oh. Stood, what? What did he do against Mayor de Blasio? He, he, for for uh, neglecting the people of Staten Island. And you know, not giving them what they what they need as far as the attention. And uh, you know, we need to give the people of this part of the district, not just you know, the the northern parts of the city, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the attention that they need. Right, right, right. Cool, man. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate right, it. Take care. So let's get back to you. <laughs> Take care. Peace. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. Have a good day, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. You too. So that's you know, that's that's a uh, that's Max Rose. He's running for. Um, I think I pushed that kid a little too hard. Sorry about that. <laughs> they mean well, you know. But you gotta look at, you gotta look at all the sides. Max Rose, by the way, I'll also put on record, is a is a militant, right? He's a a militant. <laughs> he's part of the military industrial complex. He's a he's a he's an army guy. That's his whole pitch. I'm an army guy. Now I interviewed Max. You could see the interview. He's a nice guy. But he's he's clearly not he's doing that 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 democratic dance. You that fucking dance. You know that democratic dance they do when they say universal single payer health care and but they're really talking about universal coverage? You could watch ten ten videos of Hillary Clinton doing that same jerk off dance, right? He, he's not nothing changes with guys like this, right? It's not change. It's not change. Tim Canova, that's change. Right? But you get in bed with the Democrats, they own you, right? Democrats are currently running, I think, 25 to 30 different um, operatives, militant operatives, you know, guys with, in, 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 you know, uh, <laughs> military backgrounds, intelligence backgrounds, FBI, CIA. So anyway, that's, that's you know, that's on the ground right there, you know, that's, that's ground zero right there, guy running for, running for Congress. Can he defeat the Republican, uh, Dan Donovan? I don't know. Trump, Trump just endorsed Dan Donovan. Trump said it. Trump, Trump's for, Trump's for Dan Donovan. There's the other guy that he beat. See Michael Grimm, the sign over there. Right. That's the guy that Dan Donovan defeated in the Republican primary, and Max Rose is now the candidate running against him. Can the Democrats take that seat away from from the Republicans with Trump behind them? Yeah, they can. Right? Because they cheat. <laughs> right? They cheat. They're fucking cheaters, right? Democrats control the boxes in New York, right? Could, could, could Max Rose be the next congressman? Shouldn't I be, oh, Max, you're going to be the next congressman? Shouldn't I do that, right? For my own gain, right? That's what politics is all about. Oh, Max. Right? No, you got to stick to your guns. You got to stick to, stick to what is right, right? And in my view, that sort of Democrat is on the wrong side of history. My name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, reporter, here on YouTube, opinionist, peace out.